everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am using the new Happy Place collection by Fancy Pants and the page I am starting out with, with all these plus signs, is called All Positive. How cute is that? And then I received these like package of all these little labels in my click kit this month and I have no idea what I would have done with all of these individually so I had just a kind of a creative idea why not collage them all like so and incorporate it into my background. Now I toyed around with the idea of like putting colored paper behind it to really have it stand out, um, but I vetoed it previous to filming. <laughs> and I'm going to adhere it all with some Dina Wakely gel medium. Now gel medium, I'm using this instead of just using like glue and everything else because I really want to seal the surface from the back side and all around the side so that it takes mixed media better. I could have used just glue and then kind of covered the whole area with gesso, but I find when I've done that is that everything, like all of these labels would buckle and warp and not be completely adhered flat to the page. So this is why I chose this avenue. Now these wood veneers were also, no, were a part of the basic gray typeset collection and I am just putting white gesso on them because I have um, an idea of coloring all of them. So I am using Heidi Shine, Heidi Swap Color Shine. This one is in um, coral, sorry, and the other one was peach, but uh, peach was, I didn't use. This is coral, and then I used Distress Paint Dauber in Cracked Pistachio, which is one of my favorites, and then I went in with this bright yellow called Butter, and it was also a Heidi Color Shine. So I set those to the side and let them dry while my matte medium was drying and now I'm going in with white gesso to prime my area that I would like to add mixed media. And I am applying it still with the brush that I added the gel medium. I have no trouble kind of combining all these things and it worked out fine. I am taking Artist Loft Modeling Paste and then it was, let me see the color per se, exactly. It was a mint colored regardless, let me see. It is called Ocean Breeze paint. And I'm using this Heidi Swaps plus sign stencil too. And I'm just adding texture and more interest to the page. I'm picking up the mint color that is actually already part of the plus sign motif color. So that's why I chose the mint green. And right now, now after I added the mint green, in order to pick up more of the coral scene on some of the plus signs, I am going in with the coral Heidi color shine. And then this one is the peach Heidi color shine. And then I also go in with the butter last, because that was the yellow. So I almost, in essence, I worked from the darkest shade, which would be more of the coral, the peach, and now here I am with the yellow. And this yellow, um, it, I haven't used it clearly, the yellow, um, and I love it. It's like bright yellow. So that was once I like used it there, I was like, ooh, I'm going to add some paint splatter of this because this color was bright and bold all on its own. And I'm just going ahead and matting it, not matting it, like ugh, absorbing it with paper towel just to speed it up, but also because some of it was a little pooly and I didn't like that. Now this page is also from the collection by Fancy Pants and Happy Place and it's called Here and Now. And it's this great yellow, so I wanted just to pick it up. And I wanted to just make like kind of bookends to my layout. And I did them on a diagonal. I could have done them straight, but I had an idea for a diagonal. So they're like little wedges, which is kind of nice. And I do add this with Scotch Quick Dry. And I'm not adding any mixed media to the edges. So this is just truly acting like a bookend to encase the, the, um, the layout um, and kind of frame my mixed media work. Now don't get me wrong, I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it and I do step away when I, you'll see the break, um, because it's busy, like I'm <laughs> a busy background. So while it does look good and the t colors are all in place, to me I just feel like I probably didn't need to add maybe those plus signs in the mint, just saying. But those might love it too. I love it, I just think that it's, it's busy, which it probably clearly is. Um, so the alphas I'm using are from Studio Calico, and I'm not going to lie, what are these called? They're, they're just the new ones. Um, what a ripoff these were. I'm sorry. It came with just a straight one go through of the alphabet. It has 26 letters, and that's it. Like, 
Talk about limited titles. So I'm glad I used the happy wood veneer and then just was able to use the letters my and place um, because that's going to be hard using that. I mean, there was there's no two E's, there's no two A's, there's no double any letter in this alpha pack. So if you ask me, I would stay not to get these alphas by Studio Calico. They're red. They're a great font. I just can't believe it's just seriously just the alphabet once. So I am using these two kind of Project Life cards. They came in the click kit this month as well. Just as borders, I felt like the photo got lost on the busy background. So they kind of give it a nice frame other than the yellow matting that I put it on. Um, if you can see, the actual the picture I'm scrapping is, is actually a picture of my scrap room. It's not the best quality picture, but that's why the title is called My Happy Place. Because I literally have decked out a corner of one of our guest bedrooms. Um, with like an Ikea, what do they call it, those cube ones from Ikea. My desk is Ikea and my little drawers are all Ikea. Um, but the picture shows like my tripod and my like filming station and such and then like my wall gallery and it's just a cute picture I took one day. And you can see like my um, studio lights and such, the umbrellas kind of poke out. Um, then the rest of the ephemera are also from the Fancy Pants Happy Place um, ephemera pack, these feathers. Some of those little tabs um, are all from this collection. And it's a real nice color scheme. They're all these corals, these mints, and like these almost like origami geometric shapes, which are really kind of cool that I'll use on a future layout, just not this one. I did add one of the cranes. And I'll finish it off with some journaling in this bottom corner. So that will wrap it up. As always, please subscribe if you haven't done so and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, I hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.